Since we just covered the DICOM setup, we'll go ahead and show how to export to a DICOM server. I did check to make sure it's working. And then let's go ahead and just go to uh, my study screen here. And then I'm going to search for a patient. Uh, it says search for study. And I can go ahead and click on, let's just do the one that I just did for this. And I can go to export studies. I can select multiple studies as well by holding down the shift key. But I only want to send that one, so I'm going to deselect and just select that one test that we made earlier. Go ahead and click Export Studies. Now, I've got a few choices here. Up here for Export Destination, USB, DVD, or Primary Packs, DICOM. And that was the one that I just set up. So I can choose that Primary Packs, DICOM. And then it says Configure This Export. And that, that brings me back to this page where I can send the structured reports. Uh, it says export images, export DICOM SR. I want to export both. Uh, I want those things to go. So I'm just, that's already set. Um, my compression set at the JPEG compressed, and I can modify that as we saw in the DICOM. This is where you would select that. And then when I'm ready to go, it tells me up there uh, it's a 21.4 megabyte study, and I can go ahead and click start export. And if you've got large studies at this point you're going to walk away for a while if you've got a lot of clips because at first this top is saying uh, it's converting it and then it's exporting it's converting the images and exporting since there weren't very many clips it went very quick quickly okay so same thing let's uh, go back and walk through it again but do it to uh, USB this time so um, press 2D go back to my imaging screen go back to these four images here and up here, I'm going to search for a study. And again, I've got this set to the last seven days. I'm gonna, that one I just did, let's uh, export two studies here. I'm going to hit the Shift key. And go ahead and export studies. Now, again, I can choose up here the USB storage. Okay, so I selected that. This is saying uh, time to complete export is 2 minutes and 16 seconds to go to a USB. Now, um, Color images and black and white images. This is set to palette color RRLE compressed. Now, if you didn't see the DICOM setup, this will dramatically increase or decrease the amount of time it will take you to export. It will also take up a lot of space for your loops. So here you want to choose not palette color, but in general you're going to choose JPEG compressed. And now I did choose that. Let me go back up to palette color. It says provides no image degradation, best viewing flexibility, but slow transfer and large file on packs. Not a lot of people send it this way. In general, they're choosing JPEG compressed here. This YBR JPEG compressed. And this says provides some image quality degradation, faster transfer, and smallest file on packs. And you can adjust that quality as to what it said. It's saying still frames 85. That means an 85 uh, percent compression in the loops is 60 percent so I can change that and increase so it's a slower file transfer or a faster file transfer scrolling back and forth recommended 85 is good the loops the same you can increase or decrease the loops the loops uh, that's really where you're going to get the largest file size that the standard images aren't too bad on JPEG the couple megabytes but you can really slow down your system and fill up your hard drive and make exports so long by keep uh, doing um, the large file sizes on the loops down below. So I'm just going to leave it as is. Um, you know, you can send some test images, find out if your radiologist wants higher or lower quality. But I'm just going to leave that for now. So I've got that set up. I've got my JPEG compressed. Use the format for selected color images. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So now I got my JPEG. It's going to tell me my transfer time. Uh, I've got seven gigabytes available, and it's only going to take up 93 megabytes. So up here it says 93 megabytes taken up. Let's uh, do a quick experiment here. If I click and modify and go to palette color, that 93 megabytes went up to 188. Now if I had a lot of loops, um, it would be the, the size would be tremendously larger than if I just did the, the JPEG compression here. So I'll just go back to that JPEG compressed and cut the size of that in a half to 93. So then I go ahead and click start export. Again, if you have a lot of studies, uh, you're going to want to walk away for a little while. These, uh, these, these can take some time to convert and store. 
So when your export's done, you'll get back to this screen. You can go ahead and click close and go back to your 2D imaging screen by hitting 2D here. And you're ready to go. And that concludes the training on the Philips CX50 portable ultrasound machine. Thank you for watching.